Eight-month-old Ellie arrived at Rotonda Clinic in a rural part of Rwanda in East Africa with heavy breathing, a fever and unable to eat. He had pneumonia. According to a new UNICEF report, pneumonia and diarrhoea kill more than a million African children a year, a number that could be greatly reduced if the poorest children had access to vaccines and better treatment and care of these preventable diseases. Ellie is lucky. After 24 hours at the clinic, on a drip, along with the course of antibiotics, he is on the road to recovery. Fortunately, a case such as Ellie's is quite rare. But this was not... Before 2006, there were a lot of people who died from pneumonia, but since 2009, I have not seen one death due to pneumonia. I mean, before we used to have a lot of cases even in this room. We used to have about two people per bed. We used to see a lot of deaths, a lot of illness. But really, since 2009, I haven't seen anything. In 2009, Rwanda became one of the first countries in sub-Saharan Africa to introduce the pneumonococcal vaccine to protect children against diseases like pneumonia, meningitis and sepsis. Now it's rolling out a rotavirus vaccine, which will protect children against severe diarrhoea. Six-week-old Christian Damore is the first infant in this district to receive the new vaccine. In the past 20 years, Rwanda has built a formidable primary health care system that has reduced under-five mortality by almost half.